What's up everybody, Tindo here, and sitting right here before me is my biggest thrift haul to date. Now, if you've watched a bunch of my videos and you've heard me say that already, well, chances are that I have continued to thrift and I have at some point topped this, but the me you see setting here before you, this is definitely the biggest one yet. <sighs> it's a lot. It's mostly gaming related. I think everything I see here is gaming related. There's probably a few things in between that may not be, but uh, it's a lot of stuff. So check it out. The first stop of the day is a rather peculiar one, and it's a peculiar one because this is a Goodwill redesign, and it's the last one in town that they haven't closed down, and they keep telling us they're going to close it down, but we keep going back, and it's just, it's still going, and it's it's emptier every time I, we go in, I guess, but we were told it was going to be closed down months ago, but it's still here. Shelves are continuously more and more bare. There were no video games on the shelf whatsoever, and there's usually a ton, so I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but they did have new video game stuff out, so they still are restocking just slowly. Uh, it's it's hard to figure out what they're doing, but as long as it's open, we'll keep going. And my first find of the day was this Nintendo 64 controller for six bucks. Not a bad deal, even for one with a funny joystick, which this one had. It was loose, but we can replace that no problem. The rest of this is pretty much junk, nothing I need. But uh, I'm glad to get the day started off on a good note. So I checked out of that, and uh, we continued on. We stopped at the Goodwill Clearance Center next, which is a Goodwill where you dig through bins and bins full of leftover stuff and then pay for it by weight. And it's always a good time when we go here because you just never know what you're going to find. You never know. I mean, look at this immediately. What is all this? It's, it's nonsense. It's practically trash. It's one step above trash. But if you frequent this spot enough, you'll find great stuff. I can't even begin to tell you what I've found here over the years. Some of my more wild and rare and more expensive things I've found here and I've paid I've, I've paid a lot less for it than I would have if I was going to buy it new. I mean, we're just talking pennies. I have some camera equipment that, was, that would be valued at thousands of dollars that I just paid a dollar or two here. But you have to go quite a bit to get that lucky. Uh, so you have to spend some time getting dirty and breathing in dirt. And to a lot of people, it's not worth it, but I quite enjoy it. And you see lots of odd things like this. I considered buying this and then maybe making a goofy video about gaming on it. Kind of regret not buying it now, watching this back, because that's a goofy keyboard. Didn't even have control and shift and all that on it. Not really sure what the point of that is, but once you see one computer peripheral in a bin, that usually means there's more in there, so... You gotta look for the signs of where the stuff are. Sometimes you'll see a Wiimote, and that usually means you keep digging and you find either more Wiimotes or a Wii itself. Normally when I see a mess of wires, I check them. I check the ends just to make sure there's no Nintendo or Sega cables sticking out of there. And quite often there are. This is the back room of the bins where they put pretty much anything that's not electrical or clothing. This is pretty much just anything you can imagine from a Goodwill that isn't electrical or clothing. They throw them in these bins all mixed up back here. And if you want anything out of there, you got to dig for it. And sometimes we look at the top of these bins and see something we really want. And that's usually a good sign that you need to dig through it. So we will stop and we will turn the whole thing over until we see every last bit of it and you know, that's usually what happens with Nerf parts. If you see a Nerf clip or one Nerf gun on top, you've got to dump that thing out and find the other eight Nerf guns that are in there. It's just how it works. And it's a lot of work, especially in the hot summers of Phoenix when it gets up to 120 degrees. It can be pretty miserable in here. And then I went digging through this bin. This is a prime example of exactly what I was just talking about because this vinyl is invaluable to me and I don't like paying for it new because it gets rather expensive. And there's just a litter of it on top of different sizes and stuff. So I turned this entire bin over just to make sure I got all the vinyl out of there. Especially that yellow. If there was any more of that yellow in there, I was not going to leave without it. There ended up being a whole bag full of it. Which I'm not complaining about. This stuff can be anywhere from 10 to $50 a roll depending on the color and the gloss of it. So that's a good find. I have pretty much went over all the bins. But you've just got to go over them again because the ones you don't turn up, usually someone will and they'll be reshuffled. And, and a lot of the times it will just be stuff that you really want just laying on top of the bins because someone else did the work for you. And that's always nice. It's kind of what I'm talking about. I looked in that bin before, or this bin as well, and I did not see these Legos. So, of course, I come back over and someone's turned this bin over and 
I'm going to go home with a Lego plate. Star Wars Monopoly. I have no interest in collecting board games, but I have always thought, ever since I started coming here, if I wanted to collect Monopoly games, I could have just about every one of them because I don't know how to put these statistics together, but I bet if we could magically know the statistics of how many Monopoly games come through here a day, it's probably well into the hundreds. Here's a bin full of World of Warcraft cards. They came here all in this box and either through the forklift dumping these bins together or just from someone haphazardly tossing this bin themselves, they dumped this whole box of cards out. So here we are looking through this whole bin, getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of World of Warcraft cards out of it. Here's another pretty good little find, a webcam, a 1080p webcam. These go for pretty good trade-in at a local game store. I picked them up whenever I see them. Here's a set of calibers. I don't really need another one, but those aren't exactly cheap, even for the cheaper ones. So I'll pick that up, take it home, see if it works. Here's another find I had to dig so hard for that I didn't really get the chance to film myself finding it. But uh, that was a good find. And here's a mess of wires that I found an Atari controller in, but it's for one I don't have. I really don't know which one of these flashbacks comes with wireless controllers. So here's another find, Tiger Woods. Not bad. It's better to pay nothing for it here than to pay $3 for it at a regular Goodwill. Then here's a CD I came across that I listened to back in high school. I ended up buying it quite irrationally because I'm pretty sure I don't have anything at the moment that plays CDs. Keep digging here. And here's a lovely little pile that I came across. A Minecraft pickaxe and a season disc set of Smallville all in one place. It's like someone knew I was coming. Checked it, make sure everything was there. I'll either keep this and watch it or I'll take that to the store for trade-in, get a couple bucks off of it. Keep on digging here and found the thousandth Xbox 360 controller that I've found here. They turn up all the time like this. Battery missing, messed up joysticks. Sometimes if they're in okay condition, I buy them, take them home, part them together, and um, put good ones together and take them for trade-in as well. And then here is probably one of the better finds of the day. A box full of all kinds of cards. Magic the Gathering, Dragon Ball Z, World of Warcraft... That was pretty awesome. And then here is something else you'll find every day here, multiple times a day. PS3 fat. Someone ripped the hard drive out because, of course, no one no one tries to buy those. They just don't work anymore. And this was pretty peculiar. I found this a lot, too. Aftermarket controllers. These are for 360 and PlayStation. They're supposed to be wireless, but they don't have their dongles with them. But I had to film them because have you ever seen this before? Water inside the controller. I almost should have bought it just for that. That would have been pretty neat on my controller collection display stand. And an HDMI cable. I do not pay any money at all for HDMI cables anymore because I find them here for pennies. Uh, there's just no need to go to Best Buy and pay 40 bucks for them when I can get them here for next to nothing. And then here is an Xbox original memory card reader. It's trying to be Xbox green, but it's not quite. Keep on digging. And here's the only gaming manual I found today. It's a World of Warcraft one, but I bought it because it's uh, Brady manuals, and those are the ones I like to collect the most. Here we are checking out with all our loot. Plenty of stuff here. Now it's on to the next one. We're stopping at Zia Record Exchange, which is right by my house. It wouldn't be one of my pickup videos unless you stopped here because it's so close to home i got to stop here every time. And it's a good it's a good habit because there's always new stuff. There's a Star Trek game I ended up buying. Really wasn't going to pass that up. There's not enough Star Trek video games in the world. And they're marking these games down all the time. So once they mark them down to a dollar or two, I end up buying them. But it's pretty easy to be patient here because these ones they mark down are never great, great titles. Sometimes they are. Sometimes you get lucky. But I'm just here to pick up that stuff that you don't really want to spend money on otherwise. They've recently moved a lot of stuff around to make room for new stuff. And so I'm kind of relearning where everything is. And here's the controller wall. This is why it's confusing because there's half the controllers and the other half just here in this bin. They're not really sure where to put stuff at the moment, I guess. But there was a Wii controller in here, a Mario Metal one that I really, really wanted. And I, I it has 15 bucks on it though, and I'm just not into spending that much on the controllers. Please watch any of my other videos. You'll see I tend to only spend a few bucks on them. So I was gonna walk around and think about that, but I really want that controller. They don't show up very often. And here's the bottom dollar bins. They slide underneath their tables. A random Wii U case, a random power adapter, a random Guitar Hero guitar. 
you never know what's going to be in those. That's the stuff they really want to get rid of, which is funny because they just hide it down there. I just couldn't decide on this Mario controller. And then Hannah here informed me that I should have enough trading credit to get that for half off. And if that's the case, six or seven bucks, I'll bite for that. So thank God Hannah was with me because I never remember things like that. So I left with three games and that Wii controller. And I didn't pay very much for all of it because of those points that I have saved up. Here's another regular Goodwill that I stopped at on the way home just on a whim. And thankfully I did because I didn't realize it at the time, but it was Thursday. And Thursday is the day that the Goodwills in town switch over their sticker color. Which means every week on Thursday, a different color becomes just a dollar. No matter what it is, if it's there long enough, it becomes a dollar. So if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love dollar games. So I'm here to pick up every dollar game I can. And there's a few there in the box. And here is the sticker that tells you what the dollar day sticker is, and it's pink. So let's go back to the regular games real quick and see what there is pink. And it turns out quite a large handful of them were. There's one down, it's complete, it's pink, it's a dollar, probably going to buy it. There were quite a few even that were pink that I already had, so I didn't need to buy it. More sports, but it's pink, it's complete, I'll pay a dollar for it. I'm not even looking at the other games right now, I'm just looking at the pink ones. That one was empty. A basketball game, missing its manual. A lot of football games, but they're complete and untouched. So I'll pay a dollar for these. Keep going here. This is pretty cool. Madagascar. Pink, complete. Dollar, I'll take it. And a quick check of the electronics before I leave. This one is usually pretty good about putting out good gaming stuff, but there wasn't a ton today. Also, the store is a bit in disarray all over some steering wheels just not in the market for those today but you've got to dig through this stuff because you never know when controllers will just be tucked back in there i'll take a walk back to the toys now just to make sure my hopes aren't very high but you just never know what you'll find back here lots of board games if you're into that listen if you want to collect board games move to phoenix arizona and go to the goodwills they're all there and you can find whatever you want Look at this, the toys were in a lot of disarray. Some kid, a kid or two must have come through here and just decimated the place. It's not even really worth looking through. I don't really look at this stuff too hard. I just put my eyeballs on it and make sure that nothing special catches my eye and then I get out of there. All right guys, we're back in the game room and we're gonna jump right into it. I have a bag in a bag and uh, we're gonna start with what's in this one. Let's try to grab the non-gaming stuff first. Lego plate. There's a game store in town that will take game plates as trade. A couple dollars a piece towards video games. So I buy all these I see. And I paid for it by weight. So this was only pff, pennies. And then DVD Season of Smallville. Uh, you know, I watched this as a kid. I've been thinking about giving a rewatch. It may not be the greatest idea. But it was also by weight. So it was next to nothing. Cartel CD punk rock band pop punk band from my youth i used to have a copy of this in high school it was my favorite band so i grabbed it we'll see if they're still good i'm sure they are uh next there's the rest of this bag is pretty much full of vinyl for stickers and i grabbed it because again it was by weight so it costs nothing and i have a vinyl cutter i make t-shirts and stickers sometimes for different things there's just tons of it this is the clear plastic that transfers it but the most important reason that i bought this is for my arcade machine i have a series of videos on my channel about my arcade machine i'll leave a link below if you're interested in that but i'm gonna put my logo on that arcade machine with this vinyl and then also in this bag first of the video games that we'll get to this is an inbox copy of tomb raider 2 tomb raider 2 for pc i think windows 95 it has a 44.99 best buy sticker on it i don't do a ton of old school pc gaming but uh this might be a reason to get into it but it's all there all the books are inside in the disc i thought this was pretty crazy because again Paid for it by weight, so this was just pennies. If nothing else, this is going to be a great display piece. There it is. Disc is broken, or the rather the case is broken, but the disc is fine. I don't know if these are valuable, but I don't really care because I'm definitely excited to put that on the shelf. It's pretty much my only PC game. 
but it looks cooler than all my other video games. Weird shaped box. I guess maybe it's supposed to be a pyramid. I don't know. The box needs a little attention, but I'll uh, I'll try to bring that back to life. Maybe that'll be a future video. But that's pretty much everything in that bag except for a USB charger. These shelves behind me have LED lights on them, and it's really hard to put them all on one charger without making a mess. So this will actually power five strings of LED lights all on its own. Pretty dope. And then a Beyblade launcher, because why not? I'm actually putting together a Beyblade video, both kind of about the anime and the games, because there's a lot of games. They're all pretty much, in my personal opinion, terrible, but... They're adorable if you were in high school or middle school in the early 2000s and were into that kind of thing. Next, I've got another bag. And there's a bunch, this is kind of funny, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's start with this, a lot of cables. This is a original Xbox memory card reader. This is the OG capture card for... <laughs> I've got a couple of these, but if you tried to capture footage back in the day, this is what you had. Funny enough, these still work really well if you're trying to capture. If you're trying to capture your old school... They're all mixed up. If you're trying to capture your old school consoles, and you don't want to adapt them to HDMI, this will do it. These still work quite well. Uh, the odd USB cable, USB... And then just an HDMI cable. I picked it up because it was short, and I've got a couple places in the house I need a short one and don't want a bunch of excess, so I grabbed those and dumped the rest of this bag out. Gosh. First, let's just get this mess out of the way. A big stack of cards. There's magic cards in here. These are all magic cards. I haven't gone through them yet. There's quite a few in here. Uh, and there's a bunch of Dragon Ball Z, there's Yu-Gi-Oh, and there's some stuff I don't even recognize, which is funny because as a youngster, I was quite the card gameaholic. And uh, I played a lot of odd card games, and so I have a, a thin knowledge, let's say, of a lot of different card games. And so there being somebody here I don't recognize is kind of kind of funny. Uh, but I'll just show you real quick. This was at the end of the day at a Goodwill Benz, and this was at the beginning of it. Those are all World of Warcraft cards. That whole roll right there. And then another Lego plate, again, trade in for a couple bucks. But... It's kind of funny because I just traded in all the cards that I had stacked up to, up to this point. And so this was a really quick reset on my card collecting. I don't really collect them. I collect them and sell them or collect them and trade them. Uh, they're usually pretty good trade-in credit if you go to the right place. So let's keep moving. Got plenty more to go through here. <laughs> this is awesome. My first Dragon Ball Z VHS tape. I would really love to have all of these. I've got a CRT with a VCR built in just off screen that I, you might have caught it at one point or another in the background of my videos. Sometimes in the background of my videos, I let a VHS play. And from now on, it'll probably be Dragon Ball Z that you see playing in the background. And then this is a stack of all the papers, all the literature that comes with a Nintendo Wii. There's so much paperwork that comes with a Wii, these thick books. Uh, I bought those because I put complete inbox Wii's together and trade those as well to other collectors as well as game stores. That's about the only way I can get a game store to take a Wii currently is to trade it complete in box. So I pick up all the peripherals and anything Wii related I pick it up and uh, I trade it in. Next, always happy to find these, N64 controller. The stick is a little not great. You can see it kind of just stays wherever you leave it, but uh, I can fix that. I have fixed plenty of those. And then next up, this is probably the controller I was more excited about. This is a Wii controller. What do you, do you call these fighting pads or whatever? I don't know. They're called several different things. But uh, I have a rather large controller collection. And I have not yet started to collect these Wii controllers. Yeah. Wired Fight Pad. Metal Mario. Let's see if you can see that back there. Yeah, I've not yet started to collect the uh, fight pads for Wii. And this is my first one. But I know of a pawn shop here in town that has a Pikachu one. Uh, and it was like 15 bucks a couple months ago. And these pawn shops in town have this markdown cycle where every month or so they mark it down. I'm going to go back and see if I can get that one for under 10 bucks. If it's still there. Next, this is pretty cool. A Skylanders tote bag. Man, isn't that awesome? 
Yeah, it's just meant to hold your Skylanders. Now, I could probably fill this up five times with my Skylanders, but uh, if I ever want to go to a friend's house, I guess, and play Skylanders, I've got the right bag. All right, next, a World of Warcraft Brady Games game manual. Uh, pound that like button below if you're ready to play some Vanilla WoW. This guy is. Maybe we should stream that. Oh, look. I found more magic cards. I've got so many magic and World of Warcraft cards right now. It's crazy. All right, let's move on to what you're probably all waiting for, the big stack of games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen games, eighteen counting, Tomb Raider, wherever that went. I've already lost it. Uh, let's jump right into it. About half of this is sports and about half of it's not. And every single one of these games was a dollar a piece, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and I'm happy that only half of them are sports for a dollar a piece. And I'm happy at any time, sports or not, to pay a dollar for a PlayStation 1 game. So we'll start with that one. NHL 99. I'm happy anytime. These are all a dollar because my Goodwills on Thursdays mark one color sticker down to a dollar. So although all these say $2.99 a piece, make no mistake, they were a dollar. So NHL 99, PlayStation 1, cool. NBA Live 2003, just blow right through these. Madden 2003, PlayStation 2. NCAA Final Four 2003. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 07. I think somehow I bought two copies of this today, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. NCAA Football 2003. Madden 2002. NCAA Football 2003. All these sound the same to my ears, so I'm afraid I've got like doubles. NCAA Final Four 2004. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07. Oh, so I bought the same game, one for Xbox, one for PlayStation. That's the channel first. Uh, Sega, here we're getting to the good stuff. Sega GT 2002. Love a good racing game. Definitely gonna play that one. It's all there, completely. You know what? This may be a double feature, actually. Yeah. Um, Jet Set Radio Future. This is a double feature. There's uh, two games on the disc. Both of those games are on there. Both manuals are in there. That's cool. I really like those. I've got a few of those. Uh, but this one, this one looks better than the rest of them. I might be playing this one tonight. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline. Just bought this the other day for PlayStation 2, I think. Here it is for the Xbox. Another racing game, Ford Racing 3. Pretty generic looking, just as generic on the back. But like I said, I like racing games, we'll try it out. Full Spectrum Warrior. <laughs> Talk about generic. Fisherman's Bass Club. That's goofy. Uh, this is awesome. This might be fine of the day, I don't know. Star Trek Encounters. I have not played this. But I was just laying in bed the other day thinking, I wonder if there are any great Star Trek games. If you know anything about this game, let me know in the comments below. I have it complete here. If anybody tells me it's worth playing it, I'll put it in. Uh, Madagascar, PlayStation 2. But that's it, guys. Pretty big stack of games. Pretty big load of junk. It might be junk to some of you. It's all treasures to me. It's all treasure. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what your favorite thing that I bought today was. I'm going to go ahead and say it's a tie for me between Star Trek Encounters and these controllers. Always happy to find controllers at the thrift. And I don't own any Star Trek games yet, so double bonus today. Also, maybe let me know in the comments below if anything I bought today, maybe you thought it was stupid. And most importantly, let me know in the comments below if you spotted anything while I was out that I missed that I should have bought. Maybe I'll have time to go back and get it. That hasn't happened yet on the channel, but I feel like one day it will because... I miss a lot, and I know that I do. But guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and even more important, make sure you hit that bell notification. So the next time I post a video like this, you'll get a notification, and you'll know to come hang out with me then. Until then, guys, peace out. Hey, I'm a shark with a top hat, and I think you should subscribe. Go ahead, hit the button. I'll wait. Okay, bye.